What's up guys, this video is going to show you guys how to do a tune-up on your Echo String Trimmer using one of these tune-up kits. As you can see, it's got everything in it you need to do a tune-up. This video will be demonstrated on an Echo PAS225. It'll also work on just about any Echo Trimmer as long as I know. String Trimmer anyways, Echo. So PAS225 and SRM225 for sure. So we're going to start with the spark plug. Pop this off right here. Take your spark plug wrench and do that out. After your new spark plug has been inserted, be sure to put this back on and make sure it is seated all the way down. Now we're going to do the air filter, which Echo has this nice little no tool required for the air filter. So we just screw this off and we're going to take this out. And you can see the air filter sticks on right there. So we're just going to pop that out with your hand. And not too bad, but since we're going to do the tune-up anyways, we're going to replace it. Well, looking at them side by side, it actually is pretty bad, so I'd definitely say it's time to change it. So we're just going to throw that one away and stick this down in there. Now to stick it down in there, you can see one side has like a cup on it, and the other side does not. The cup needs to go down over top that little wing nut there, just like that, so you know which way to put it on. Your filter inserted. Remember that this is your choke label, so it needs to go over by the choke, just so you have an idea on which side to put it on, in case you get confused. And then just spin that, after you get it on right, spin that and tighten it. So you make it hand tight, it doesn't have to be too crazy tight, just to make it airtight anyways. And now we're going to do the fuel filter. So the fuel filter is actually inside its tank, so I recommend you empty out any fuel that's in there, or you're going to make a mess. So this would work great if you had a screwdriver with a hook on the end of it, but I'm just using a flathead screwdriver. There is that little black hose down in there that I was able to fish out all the way to the top here, and then I'm just going to grab it with my fingers and pull it out. And there it is, that is the original fuel filter with that. So let me show you how to take that off. So you just want to slide that little ring down there and then pull the old filter off, just like that. And then you want to take the new one and basically do the exact opposite to put it on. So you're going to take the new filter, let's see there's quite a big difference there again as well. You're going to take your new filter and put it on, it's hard to do not watching, watching on the camera. You're going to put it on and then slide that ring all the way up. So one thing you want to make sure is you don't lose that little ring as it does slide down the pipe and go in there. The best way I was able to get that on is that can be a pain in the butt, is you have to use two hands of course. But take both thumbs and put it under there like that and hold the top and pull up with both thumbs to get it on there just over top of that because you don't want that coming off inside there. And then you just push this back down inside, get it all the way down to the bottom. And one thing I do want to note is I did take this out. You can cut it or just pull it and stick it back in. It made it a lot easier to fish that out. So that's all there is to it to do a tune-up kit on your Echo String Trimmer. It's that easy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it at all, if it's helped you at all, and comment below any other how-to videos lawn care related that you guys want to see. How to fix stuff, or how to do anything, how to stripe, how to ride a zero turn. Comment whatever you guys want to see below, and let me see if I can help you out and get there. So as always, thanks for watching.